Okay, nope, I still don't see Saturn. So we're gonna start our setup tonight. And before I do that, let me say hello there. I hope you're all doing well on this Saturday evening and your weekend's going well. Here we are on uh, July 27th, I think, 2019 at 9.14 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And now I'm gonna do my setup and I'll be back in a bit. So we'll pull back a bit here so we can see all four moons of Jupiter because Callisto is way out in front, out to the right somewhere. Then we have uh, Europa and Ganymede with the planet Jupiter and then Io about the nine o'clock position, real close to uh, Jupiter. But I'm gonna get a short clip here and try to do some stacking and I'll be back in a bit. All right, we're back here. Boy, it's not coming in very well, is it? I don't know, I think that's the best we're gonna be able to get it in this time of night for our bands of Jupiter. Doggone it, wish I would come in better. Ah, you know what? <laughs> There's a cloud going over it. So, okay, it got freed up now, finally. Now, I know I haven't had a video up for a couple days because I have gotten pictures and footage the last two nights, but they just weren't up to snuff quality-wise, so I didn't bother putting any videos together. Now, I believe I'm going to have to take a picture and try to find Saturn on the, uh, on the picture and try to match it up because I can't see anything out here. I need better eyes and the camera has it. <laughs> so, let me change up here. Oh, doggone. Even with the ISO up so high, I still can't find Saturn. Hmm. Yeah, this might be another disappointing night. Aha, there it is. And I'm gonna move us a bit. Already high ISO, but uh, we did find Saturn up there. So we're gonna have to hurry. No mucking around. There will be our triangle of uh, stars. The two above it should be stars and Sagittarius. But the brighter one is Saturn. Come on, baby. All right, let me... All right, let me change up and I'll try to get it in better. And already we're back. So in the southeast, we have our ring buddy up there. And over in the south, southeast, we have Jupiter that we already got at, let's see, 9.27 p.m. up here. And it's funny, I still can't see Saturn by eye, but, and thank goodness for high ISO that brightens the image up, and even though it's grainy, but it helps uh, find these very faint objects. And from my vantage point right now, all I see is uh, clouds, dark trees, and Jupiter. <laughs> That's it in my in my skies here. So I know it gets uh, repetitive just being able to get these two, but uh, it's not like last year. Last year was so cool. We were able to get uh, four planets right after the sunset and the moon too. It was just where they were in their orbits were just great. We'd first have to get uh, Venus before it dipped down below the uh, horizon and then Mars and no, I'm sorry. It was uh, Venus would be first to 
be going down and then Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars would have been the last one. But it was so cool to get them when, right at sunset, we'd, when we could still get the uh, dusky sky and see all the planets there. Now I do have a little floodlight out here by my feet so I can <laughs> glance around, see if there's any critters. And it looks like that's going to be it for Saturn. As it's taking its dive into the trees. <laughs> oh my. So if the uh, video comes out alright and we get some stacking in here, maybe I will put up a video after all. We shall see. So if this grainy image is coming out, uh, we have a security light down there from a neighbor down at the bottom in Jupiter. Oops. It's up to the left of the willow tree and I can't see Saturn on here. They might be flickering down there in the tree. Oh, and if the uh, video picks it up, we have uh, the smoke going in front of the lens is from my citronella stick. Trying to keep the mosquitoes at bay. And I do wish these cameras had better low light, but I am not happy with all this graininess, but uh, that's all we've got. So I'll probably take a few more pictures, maybe do some overlays if uh, everything comes out. And, and if you're new here to my channel, just so you know, I do edit my videos. Uh, <laughs> To cut down on time because I take a lot of footage and cut out all the boring useless stuff all the jitters and shakes and trying to focus and all that stuff and it's just a uh, it's no sense having it in there and I do like to use the uh, pictures and overlay the planets onto the uh, sky so you can see what I'm seeing from my vantage point here and it's just a bit of creativity, but uh, it's not fake. <laughs> I'm just showing you what my camera picks up and trying to show you what I see by eye. Even though I may put the uh, stacked image of the planet, a bigger version, onto the video, but uh, or onto the picture. If it bothers you, please don't watch it. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. I'm going to wish you all a great night, and uh, I hope you have a fun weekend. Take care now. It's uh, 9.34 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. Good night now. Okay, this is just to show that I am out here <laughs> taking footage. It's not fake. And, of course, the camera's not going to... The iPhone camera's not going to show the sky, but uh, this is with the ISO up so high. But let me show you what it's like out here. Just a minute. Back down to 800. That's what the monitor's like. You really can't see anything. <laughs> you kind of just point and shoot, take a, take a few pictures and, and hope you found it and then try to zero in on it, try to get it, <laughs> try to get it in there. There's the uh, little floodlight I have out. There, we sh should be able to see it this way. The 
So I'm back at the fur furthest point of the uh, yard. And the light we see on the phone is a security light up to the sky, nothing. <laughs> Pretty much like my monitor. Anyway, just to show what it's like. It can be quite tricky trying to find these uh, faint light sources up there. <laughs> All right, that should do.